Hello, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and usually I'm doing junk journal craft tutorials, but uh, today I wanted to give you a list of the top 27 junk journal tips and tricks to help you if you're starting or to find out, do you know all of these tricks? So let's get started. Number one, use a metal ruler as a tearing tool to cut straight lines a lot faster. Number two is use makeup sponges to use instead of an ink dauber. These makeup sponges can be used easily to ink up the edges of your tag. And then you can also use this type of makeup sponge to distress the hole in your tag. Number three is glue your scraps into an old book. So you take your scraps and you simply glue them onto a page in any particular order. You can do them by color and then uh, they're kept in a nice organized way and all the backs have a book page on the back when you're ready to take them out to make tags or journal cards. Number four is use corrugated cardboard to stamp lines onto your junk journal pages. Number five is using crayons and coins to make wax seals. Number six is when you're cut, fussy cutting a really detailed image, you should move the paper and not the scissors. a basic junk journal design formula. So this formula includes a decorative piece of paper, a book page, and a focal point. Use this as a starting point for all your projects. Number eight is creating faux stitches with markers. Don't sew, but still wanna get the look of hand stitching. The best colors to use are browns, black, and navy. Number nine is gluing your tiny bits with a glue stick. So instead of turning it over and gluing like this, you just take your paper and put it right on the glue stick. And you have complete coverage and you just add it right onto your project. Number 10, if your ink pad is smaller than your stamp, it may be easier to take your ink pad to the stamp instead of the other way around. Number 11 is use hand lotion on your hands before you start crafting. Inks, paints, and glues will wash off a lot more easily when you've lotioned first. Number 12 is how to tie a ribbon on a tag. So put the ribbon through the back of your tag leaving a small hole. You take the top two, pull the ribbon through the circle, and then pull it snug. And this is your result. Number 13 is getting even tag corners. So you simply Cut the one corner, and then you use the piece that you cut as your template for the other side of your tag. There you go. Number 14 is to use a sanding block instead of cutting curved edges. Simultaneously rub the block in a side and downward motion. Number 15 is use one sheet of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper to create 12 quick clusters. Number
Number 16 is add cheesecloth under a focal point to add texture, depth, and a three-dimensional element. Number 17 is dive into your stripe paper stash to make the quickest and easiest picket fences. Cut the paper with your pinging shears. Cut out two extra strips and you've got an instant picket fence. Number 18 is make your own doily. Just fold your paper. Use decorative scissors to cut the edge. And take your standard scissors and begin cutting out shapes near the top. Open it up and you have a doily. Use two-sided paper and then you have two color options for when you're ready to use it. Number 19 is use a post-it note when you can't punch your paper because it's simply too small to grab. Just take a post-it note, stick it to the edge, and then place it exactly where you want it in your punch. Number 20 is use old book guts as a glue pad. Glue your items all the way to the edge as you're working on a project. And as you go along, your paper gets stickier and stickier and it helps prevent glue from getting stuck to your craft table. Once your surface becomes so sticky that it's difficult to use, you take your page and go all the way to the edges, rip it off, flip it over and glue it to the next page. You tear it off and then you've got a piece that's ready to be turned into a pocket or a tag. Number 21 is to use fabric glue, such as Fabri-Tac and Fabri-Fix, which is generally used for fabric, on your paper to avoid the glue warp. It works much better than your standard white PVA glues. Number 22 is to use a large office binder clip or a jumbo chip clip to hold your pages open while you're working on your journal. Number 23 is use a used paper towel roll as a curved book spine. Just replace your standard spine with your curved paper towel roll. Number 24 is use fabric to create an expandable book spine. So if you're not sure how big your signatures are gonna be by the time you get done and adding all of your decorations on the inside, all you have to do is leave a half inch to a full inch on each side and then attach the fabric to the spine. If the book turns out to not be that big, the fabric easily hides away and isn't visible. This flexible spine works for both bigger and smaller books. Number 25 is use your cutting board as a scoring board. Use the measuring area to figure out where you need your item scored and then choose a tool such as a burnish tool, a bone folder, and then follow the line where the crease is. You can also use your embossing tool Number 26 is use sewing pattern paper to stamp your images. Once finished, you can tear them off, then use your glue stick to apply the tissue paper. This guarantees that you 
are using a good image. It adds a nice effect. And finally, number 27 is create a book called Stamped Images. So you take your sewing pattern paper and you use your glue stick to just glue a little strip, glue the paper down, and then stamp your images. When you're ready to use them, you just tear them out. This way, if you get a bad image, it doesn't matter, and you don't have to worry about a half-stamped image on a project you are working on. Well, I hope you got a lot of value out of this list. If you're interested in seeing more videos, you can go ahead and click subscribe. If you want to save this video, you can also select save and choose to put it in the watch later folder. You can check out my Etsy shop by clicking the link in the description. And that's where I sell junk journal supplies, journals, and a few other items. As always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.